Things I've learned since living with a pigeon. First up, loafing. When Penny first did this, I was worried that she was in distress, but turns out loafing is just an adorable way of pigeons relaxing, sunbathing, drying off their feathers, or even sleeping. And if they loaf on or near you, then it means that they really trust you. Seed mess. Because of the way pigeons digest their food, messy dinner times are unavoidable. I would recommend getting a deep dish bowl. Next up is hands. When Penny was young, she would often affectionately play with my hands as it mimicked beak feeding. Now hands are a bit of a contentious issue. You see, pigeons don't see hands as part of us, but rather as a separate scary creature. And so grabbing and petting are not always something that they enjoy. So when I hold Penny, I try to leave fingers out the equation. But there is one way to hold them to help them be submissive, and it's like this. It's kind of like holding a cat by the scruff of the neck. Next up is zoomies. Yes, pigeons get the zoomies. Not in the same way as dogs or cats by running around like a maniac, but rather flapping their wings incessantly. Next up we have preening. If a bird preens you, then it's a big display of affection because they're grooming you as they would groom themselves. Bonus points if they steal your earring. And speaking of affection, birds often do not take kindly to it being forced upon them. Rather, they like to call the shots and choose when they physically interact with you. It's a communication that you have to develop with your bird so that you both know the boundaries. But when they do show you love, then it's a feeling you can't beat.